This is an example of classical conditioning, a laboratory example. Um, we call this the eye blink conditioning experiment. What happened here was a bunny rabbit was put in a contraption where a puff of air was blown into the rabbit's eye. And what happened was the rabbit, of course, blinked when the air was blown into its eye. Um, eventually, the there was a tone um, that was paired with the blowing of air into the rabbit's eye. Um, we could have a tone, we could make it a light, we could have it some kind of tactile stimulus. Um, any of those three things that I mentioned, tone, light, or tactile stimulus, would of course be the conditioned stimulus. Um, beforehand, when the bunny rabbit um, heard the tone, the light, or any or experienced this tactile stimulus, he would not have blinked. It would have been neutral to him. That's why we identify that as being the conditioned stimulus. Of course, the puff of air is an unconditioned stimulus because that is something that we stimulate the bunny with, and he responds um, in a un with an unconditioned response of blinking. No one had to teach the bunny rabbit to blink his eyes. That was an unlearned response. That's why we consider that an unconditioned response. So to summarize this experiment again, um, the unconditioned stimulus is a puff of air. So an air, a puff of air was blown into the rabbit's eye, and he responded with blinking. Um, a an, a con conditioned stimulus was paired with the puff of air, being either a tone, light, or a tactile stimulus. And um, the bunny rabbit, of course, blinked when the puff of air went in its eye. Eventually, the puff of air was removed, and only the conditioned stimulus was presented, and the rabbit still continued to blink, even with the absence of the puff of air.